I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will discuss few concepts about greatest integer function. Uh, the question which I have written here is, sketch greatest integer function f of x equals to greatest integer of x, write domain and range of given function. Now at times we also write this um, in this form, f of x equals to, we have these double brackets kind of thing, right? So you will see that in the books like this. Uh, and sometimes we also mention this as uh, like this, where we take the lower value, or it is also called floor function. So greatest integer function is also called the floor function. This uh, way of writing will help you understand or quickly get the understanding of this definition of greatest integer itself. Now, what is greatest integer function? It is defined by the largest integer value that is less than x. So, so the greatest integer, when we say greatest integer function, it really means, it means the largest integer value less than less than x. So if I say greatest integer function, let's use this symbol. We want to use all the three symbols so that, you know, whenever you're referring to some material, you can correlate. It is the largest integer value less than x. Now, what does that mean? Let's take a number line and then discuss that part also. So let's first understand what greatest integer function is, and then we'll sketch the graph and do all other things. So let's say on a number line, we have these numbers, 0, 1, 2, and here we have minus 1, minus 2. I mean, okay, let me write 3 also, minus 3, less than 3. Now, on a number line, anything to the left is less, correct? So if I have a number, let us say a number is 1.2. Now in this 1.2 is kind of here, right? 1.2, greatest integer value of 1.2 should be equal to what? It should be equal to integer value, largest integer value less than this value. So that means left side of this, which is 1. Is it okay? If I have a value like 0 0.5 or let's say 7.5, in that case, the greatest integer value will be 0 0.75 will be right there. On the left side, the integer is 0, so it will be 0. This is an easy way of checking, right? So if I have a value, which is, let's say, minus 1.2, and we want to find the greatest integer function, can you tell me answer for this one? How much is this equal to? Locate 1.2 minus. That is, we are slightly here. On the left side, we have minus 2. So this is minus 2. Remember that part. So it is the left side value. So the greatest integer value of minus 1.2 is minus 2. Okay, not minus 1. Minus 1 is actually bigger than this number. We are looking for less than. This is very important. Less than x. So it is on the left side of the number right so that is how we actually define this number and now with that definition in mind it's easy to sketch the graph of this function so let's use this space to sketch the graph okay so that is my y this is x right as usual i'll make very rough uh, sketch and then <clears throat> we'll uh, well, write domain and range. So let's say the, these are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 on this side. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. Or let's have this minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 1. These are minus 1s, right? Minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. Okay. So let's say these are the numbers and we will now sketch the greatest integer function. So what we have seen here, let's refer to what we just calculated right there. Right? 
So when we are saying a values between 0 to 1, then on the left side, the, which is less than x, it rounds to 0. The greatest integer value is 0. So on this side, that is filled up and then we get this as a whole here. Do you see that? That becomes the value of any number, any real number between these values. Do you get the idea? As soon as you write 1, so if I write 1, so what is the greatest integer value of 1? Largest integer value less than x. I should say less than or equal to. Let me correct it. Or equal to. Yeah, sorry for that. Less than or equal to. So it could be less than or equal to. So it is 1, right? So this is equal to 1. And if I do, let's say 1.9, in that case, that value will still be 1. Do you see that? So, so in this interval, from for a real number between 1 to 2, the value will be 1. And at 2, it will move to 2. Do you see that? So this point is an open circle, and that is the closed circle. So that is how we have our steps. At 3, it will be kind of like this. Do you see that? And at 4, I mean, right? So this is 3 and then kind of. So this is the steps which you see. And on this side, if I have a number minus 1.2 you saw, let's take a number which is, which is let's say, negative 0.7, right? Greatest integer value will be how much? 0.7 is here, on the left side is minus 1, so it's going to be minus 1, right? So, so any value in between this place, we'll have a filled up circle here, and that will be the open one. So this pattern is followed, do you see that? So what we have here is kind of like this. This is filled up on the left side, and that is the open circle. So likewise, we could sketch, sketch the function, do you see that? So that is how we could sketch the graph of greatest integer function which normally in the books is written like this correct now from this graph i think it is simple to write down domain range right so now you can pause the video and write down domain range for this function so so the domain of this function is as you can see all real numbers right so x belongs to real numbers that is the domain, right? All real numbers is the domain. As far as the range is concerned, what we see here is y belongs to all integer values. So y belongs to all integers. Do you see that? In this function, this pattern can move on. So that is how we can sketch the graph. It is kind of a step function where the filled in circle is on the left side. Right, so I hope that makes a lot of sense. So, so remember this definition is greatest integer function of f of x, x this written like this, is the largest integer value less than or equal to, right? The value of x, correct? Okay? So I hope that's absolutely clear. I'm Anil Kumar, you can always share and subscribe to my videos. Feel free to post questions. Thank you and all the best.